Hey there. Time to remove the carburetor. I'm not going to be using this one. I don't know its condition. It runs, but not very well. And the previous owner bypassed the choke and ran a cable inside. Well, start with the easy part, getting the air, com air cleaner off. Gonna have a vacuum line attached to it. If the air cleaner needs redoing, but right now I just want to get the carburetor off. There we go. And now the vacuum line connected to it at all which ways. Got a vacuum harness connector and one going up underneath. You see that over there. Just twist the hose and it will come apart. I'm going to be redoing the vacuum on all this, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Starting at the top, we've got a vent hose with a broken clamp, which makes it easy to remove. professional versions of these hose pliers with a cheap set from any of your favorite Chinese tool proprietors for most home use they'll be good enough. One other thing you want to do is record where all the hoses go. Nothing better for that and a good old camera. Let's get close-ups of all the hoses, what they're connecting to. Especially the base plate. It's a night sight feature of this camera. It gives a nice bright picture of a dark space and in back especially. All kinds of hoses connected back there. Yeah, not too bad. This little, you can't see it over here really. Little clip. <coughs> little Christmas tree squeezing through the front choke plate. There we go. You can see that over here. Comes off easily. Actually, might as well push it out of the way. And here I have that ingenious. Now you gotta see this one. We'll get to that in a minute. But it's an ingenious way to hook up a choke cable. You gotta see this one. If the choke wasn't working, or you lost the linkage, that's what you can do. You can just hook it up, hook up the floor vent from the passenger side of your car, your full size Jeep, with a hose clamp to the old choke, and bingo, you got a manual choke. One final bit of fun. Explore and make sure everything you need from your carburetor is on there. On the bottom of this, don't know if you can make it out, but the throttle screws, the idle screws, are far from adjusted equally. You want your starting point with tuning a new 
a rebuilt carburetor uh, to be about the same point where your original carburetor was, well, this is way off of where it ought to be. They ought to be roughly equal. That's a number of turns out more than this one. So that's not going to be much help. So I'll take this setting, how many screw turns it is in, and then count them and use that as a setting. Note that, mark that down as a setting that I'll start with. Alright, other than that, this looks like a crusty old carburetor. Needs gaskets. It's got a completely inoperable choke. Nothing moves very smoothly, but it's correct for the year. The tag, don't know if you can make it out. The tag reads 5R HA2. 5R HA2, the proper number for a 1987 carburetor. One thing I know about my replacement carburetor that I'm going to use as the core for this rebuild, this little throttle screw, this throttle stop screw right here, is eroded off that one. No idea how that happened. I also drained out the gasoline from this before I bring it inside. No sense bringing in unnecessary gasoline to my heated by the adjacent furnace workshop in which I'm going to rebuild my carburetors. All right, time to go inside and rebuild the carbs. Rebuild the carb, singular. Not doing two of these.